Yeah, good morning. Welcome to Ionic Travels. Um, slightly different style of filming today, using a 35mm camera to actually show you guys just how um, a pod point charger can be used. I um, stopped at my usual one at Lidl in Bentley, Asken, uh, which is um, not far from Doncaster. Um, and pod point charger here at Lidl is free. The electricity is supplied by Doncaster Metropolitan Borough Council. Thank you, Doncaster. And um, let's uh, see how it's used. Okay, so you can see at the moment, um, temperature outside is about nine degrees. Um, we've just got 4.2 um, miles per kilowatt on the way down from home. Uh, this is a journey of about 11 miles. Got 81 miles range so I don't necessarily need to top up but uh, I'm here and in this weather um, the rule for EV drivers is ABC which is always be charging so at the moment the car's still powered on and basically if I take you over to this screen here you'll see I've got 67% battery so I'm not looking that I'm gonna get you know any great sort of charging right here this has been done basically for illustrative purposes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the car off and you'll notice the percentage battery there goes. We're then going to move our way round to the charger, remembering to take our mobile phone as well. Um, you need this for the pod point chargers. We're going to release the door or charging flap as it's also known. And go over to the charger, charging flap, open that. And then, okay, so let's watch the reflections here as best I can. Bit difficult with these screens, so touch the screen. We want CCS for the Ionic, so we're going to plug in cable. A bit stiff that one. Back to the screen, press start. And it says use phone to authenticate charge. So, onto the pod point up. There we go, Bentley. Sort of little Laskin Road. Gary Judy. CCS, so confirmed charge. Go we're charging and we've heard the click and you can now see it's preparing to charge. And we're now charging. Right, so I was uh, just tidying away my um digital SLR actually because it's a bit cumbersome really for, for filming I'm finding um, so I'm trying a new filming app just now uh, you see the charger actually 94% it is connected uh, still and that's because I'm running the climate control and you can see I've still got um, if you can just about see this let's move this over yeah it's still charging doing that final little bit there but we've got 119 miles range we're going to power off the car now and we're going to disconnect um, one thing I would just like to say is is that basically when you do get to 94 percent it does actually disconnect uh, from the car automatically so you can now withdraw the charger without having to uh, unlock the car and if you got to 94 percent providing the auto um, 
cable there, the middle one there, is actually lit like that, then basically that means anybody can unplug the car. If you leave that off, and this is particularly useful with a seven kilowatt uh, charging that you do, and basically it means nobody can steal your cable. Uh, when it finishes charging, it will not automatically release. Here, it auto unlocks and um, basically that enables somebody else to uh, take the cable out and use it for their vehicle which uh, given the scarcity of chargers that's not a bad idea actually so let's um let's just unplug um so 94 percent we're going to power down the car love that bing bong Charger's gone back to the status of selecting input. What we need to do now is just pull out. Make sure the cable isn't um, basically cluttered up. And yeah, you heard that was a bit of a struggle. Basically put the cable back in and then back to your charge port. Now with this, you need to put the little one. This is a bit difficult to do one-handed little in first at the bottom and then the type 2 at the top for next and then we're back round and ready to drive off and that's it that's how you use the pod point charger um, sometimes you find there's a bit of a lag in the app so when you go back to the app it'll still show you as charging um, but uh, generally it's pretty good.